Hello, my name is Frederick Anefi, and you are welcome to your Excel solution for today. Today, we want to look at how to allow multiple pivot filters. Assuming we have a pivot table with our pivot filter fields, and we have our country with quotes and estimated population for each country. Now, as we want to filter for label filter, that is um, countries that begins with a G. We click on OK. So then we can find Gabon, Gambia, Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau. As we after filtering, we want to filter by the population being the next one. So then we go and say, OK, for the value filter, we want to filter for populations greater than, let's say, 2,000. So we type in 2,000 and we click on OK. So you see our first label filter is really unchecked. And now what we have is only the value filter. So you can see for the label filter, which we did earlier, is unchecked and the value filter is checked. How do we solve for such a challenge? First, what we do is we go to our pivot table tools, go to analyze, go to options. Then under options, we will go to totals and filters then we check for allow multiple filter allow multiple filters per field so we check that and we click on ok so then we can go back we can clear or now go to the whole process again now for the labels we'll look for countries that begins with G so we click on ok then now we want estimate of population greater than 2000 so we go to the value filters greater than 2000 then we click on ok so you'll see that it's filtered and then they uncheck the initial two so what it means is that we have our label filters really checked on at the beginnings of or which which state that begins with a g and the value filters also working this is how smart you can really allow multiple pivot filters on your pivot table. Thank you very much and continue to follow us on this page. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.